Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Will Holmes. Uh, on behalf of the entire team of the Charles County Business Growth Advantage Program, I want to welcome you to graduation for Cohort 2. I'm so proud of these business owners. Over the last eight weeks, they have done an amazing job of learning everything they need to know so they can grow their revenue, hire people, and have a really positive impact on the Charles County economy. Okay, so on behalf of the entire team, uh, Charles County, I want to welcome all of the business owners and all the judges here tonight for this incredible, fantastic event. We've been working hard and a long time to get here. So um, I'm so excited and once again, I'm just so proud of you all. Thank you for all the work you put in. Let me share with you the agenda. All right, so pretty straightforward tonight. Uh, what, here's what you can expect. So right now we're all in the main room. And we're gonna have, uh, and so this is actually part of opening remarks. Uh, after I finish talking in just a, a minute or two, I'm gonna ask uh, Charles County to say a few words. Uh, in particular, uh, oh, they'll, 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 they'll I, I won't, I won't uh, I'll let them, I'll keep it a surprise. I'll let them talk about what they wanna say about uh, the program and how they feel about it. And then after that, um, we, and while that's happening, uh, Mr. Brown, who co-facilitates this program with me, he is uh, setting up breakout rooms. And so uh, once we finish our opening remarks, we will send everyone to their breakout rooms. What you can expect in the breakout room is that uh, everyone has, of course, prepared their 15 minute presentation. And, when, and I wanna stress 15 minutes or less. So please uh, be mindful of that and stay, and stay uh, to time. After that, uh, there'll be five minutes of questions from the judges. And these are uh, questions that that are pre-planned that the judges will ask each and every uh, presenter. Then after that, we'll, you know, there will be the next presentation and then of course followed by more questions. Uh, in total, we plan to be in the breakout rooms for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. And then after that, we will return back to this main room where we are all right now. When we return to the main room, we will have feedback from our judges. And once again, I wanna thank our judges. These are uh, individuals representing uh, some of the financial institutions here in Maryland. The SBA is represented, uh, WMATA as, you know, from in DC represented, and, and also just many community supporters, uh, local and statewide. It's, I'm so thankful for you all being here and we're very excited to hear the feedback you give to our business owners. But we're gonna get some feedback from the judges and then uh, we'll get feedback from the businesses who participated in BGAP. Then we'll have uh, some remarks from Charles County and then of course, and then Charles County will lead us into the graduation, actually officially announcing that everyone has met the responsibilities and they officially graduate from the program. So that's the agenda for tonight. If I could have liked to actually ask, uh, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. I'm gonna ask uh, Charles County, in particular, if Kelly, if you could uh, introduce yourself, tell us what you do at Charles County, and then anything you'd like to say uh, to everyone who is here, and then of course, who may be watching the video later on. Sure, sure. Thank you, Will, so much. Um, I, I do recognize some of the faces um, on the on the screen here, uh, but for those that don't know me, I am Kelly Robertson Slagle. I'm the Director of Economic Development um, in Charles County, and I get to work with the awesome Lucretia and Margaret and some of the others that you've met um, on our team in Charles County. Um, I just wanted to jump on um, here tonight to say thank you. Thank you, thank you for choosing Charles County to do, uh, do your business. We realize that you could have chosen anywhere really uh, to set up shop and you really chose, uh, you, you thought about it and you chose Charles County to do that. And I also wanted to say congratulations for taking the time to work on your business. And, and I know because you're always working in your business and I know the difference. Um, I come from a family of business owners. I was my grandparents and my parents both um, were, were active business owners. So I get it. I get it. I understand that it is a 24-7 uh, commitment. So the fact that you took the time uh, to sign up for this program, to go through the process and spend uh, really valuable uh, hours every week for the last eight weeks with this group really shows a lot um, about you as a business owner. And um, I check in with Lucretia and the team 
um, on a weekly basis. And I've heard nothing but really phenomenal things about this group. So I'm excited uh, to hear uh, your your kind of your reports and, and that sort of thing. I'm excited to see you next week uh, when, when we'll all be together to, to celebrate um, your graduation, to be able to see you in person. Um, so thank you for that. For the mentors and the judges, thank you for taking the time this evening and, and being a part of this uh, program. I know many of you, this is your second time, our, our second cohort uh, that you've helped us out with. And, and it certainly means a lot that you believe in our, you believe in us and you believe in this program and you believe in our business owners to take the time uh, to, to be such, you know, play such an important role in this process. So uh, thank you, Will. Um, I'm going to I'm going to step back. I am going to be in the rooms listening um, and I will be joining Lucretia later on uh, to say a couple more comments, hopefully later on some more remarks as we get closer to graduation. So thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. And I will turn it back over to you guys. Thank you so much, Kelly. Lucretia Freeman Buster, could we please hear a few words from you? Sure, just congratulations again to the business owners. I can't believe eight weeks went by so fast and the commitment that you, I mean, you put your all into this program and I'm very excited to see where your business would go from here. So, um, and also Kelly mentioned the graduation ceremony for next week. We're planning something great for you all because we're very, very excited that you took this step to improve your business, um, to move it to the next level. So congratulations again, and I'm looking forward to working with each and every one of you. Thank you. All right, fantastic. So let me check in with, with my uh, co-facilitator, Mr. Brown. Are we good to go as far as room assignments? Rock and roll, sir. Fantastic, all right, all right. Business owners, just a couple of things. One, I'm so proud of you. You've done the work, all right? You're gonna do an amazing job. Uh, talking about your business, okay? One thing I ask is you keep it to 15 minutes or under, okay? So that way we can all get back on time. And then of course, judges, if obviously if you keep the time and uh, keep those that feedback, at least in between the, after each presentation of five minutes, after all the presentations are done, then there, there'll probably be some more time for you to talk and dig deeper and ask questions. Please use that time as we can stay on track. We wanna make sure that we, uh, you know, we, we should be able to finish actually this whole thing in about an hour and a half from now. So uh, if everybody stays on point. So with that, I wanna once again, thank all our judges for being here. Thank our business owners for being so diligent and dedicated. Thank you to Charles County, the Chiefs of WHC. And we're gonna pause the recording just a moment. And when we return, we'll, we will have finished our presentations and we will hear feedback from our judges and our business owners. Once again, thank you so much and talk to you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Uh, congratulations, thanks everybody. Uh, we're, uh, we've, everybody has had the judgment, right? Uh, we've worked with all our different judges. We've placed our information in the connection, uh, in the chat there for their connection. Uh, thank you all again for your hard work. Uh, we are going to, I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Holmes to continue the balance of the preparation for our graduation ceremony. Mr. Holmes, you have the floor, sir. Thank you, Mr. Brown. I gotta tell you, I was going in, into the rooms, I was listening, I'm so proud, so, so proud of you all. The conversations you're having now, completely different than week one, okay? So you should be really proud of the work you put in. And I can definitely tell, at least I feel like you have a, a much better understanding of your business. So, but let's see what the judges have to say. So what, what I'm gonna ask the judges to do, anyone who wants to share their feedback from what they saw today, uh, if you could share it with, you know, with the group, uh, that would be fantastic. Also, we have a lot of lenders here who are judges. Please share your contact information in the chat. I know a lot of our business owners, now they know how to access capital. They'll be reaching out. Of course, we have people from the SBA and from WMATA, uh and other community partners. Please put your contact information in the chat so people can reach out to you and get connected uh, as well. So, but uh, right now, with no further ado, Judges, who would like to say just really anything about what you saw tonight uh, from the, with the presentations? Well, I'll start. Um, this is Michelle, I can start out. Um, I wanted to say that I was very impressed by the content of the information that they knew about their businesses. I mean, and it's not like um, 
they needed cards, right? They knew the information, it was familiar to them. Um, I was impressed with how they knew about and learned what their obstacles have been and how will they get over them? How will they get over those obstacles? So I was, I was truly, truly impressed. I was impressed with them to know easily whether they needed capital or not, to be able to respond to whether they needed the capital, if they needed it, why, how, when, you know, it was flawless. So yeah, very impressive. Thank you, Ms. Howard from WMATA, and I appreciate you representing WMATA here tonight. That is fantastic as always, and also for your support and really all of our cohorts. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Kemp, I think you, you were starting to say something as well. Yeah, yeah, I'll jump in. Let, let me first say to everyone, congratulations um, on graduating this great program. Um, it will obviously, it, just echoing uh, the last comment, very impressed uh, with what we, we heard tonight, the numbers. Obviously you guys spent a lot of time on understanding the numbers. Um, and really being able to pinpoint the one or two key areas that's going to have the greatest impact in your business. And I think that's the, that's the biggest, you know, opportunity and challenge sometimes with business owners is being able to prioritize and understanding what's going to make the, the greatest movement. And so was really impressed by the, uh, the, the presentations that we saw and really enjoyed uh, being a part of this. But again, congratulations uh, to everyone. And again, hats off. Will and Renard, uh, and Lucretia, hats off to you all and the team for the great work that you guys are continuing to do here. Thank you, Mr. Campbell from Lendy Street. Always a big supporter of small businesses, always a big supporter of, of the curriculum. Thank you, I appreciate you, sir. Always looking out. Any other judges, have anything they wanna share? Mr. Peters, I'll anything? share. Oh, I, I thought, I'm sorry, go ahead. Just Lucretia, please. Yeah, I have, our had three outstanding business owners and three outstanding presentation. And it's, it's so amazing how well they understood the customers because um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the major things. You have to be crystal clear on who your customer is. And they understood the competition, they understood the customer, and um, they had those solutions down, you know, to move things forward. So I'm really, really impressed with the presentation. Thank you, Ms. Freeman Buster. That means a lot. Charles County. All right. Mr. Peterson, I think I think you had your hand up, sir. MT Bank. Yeah, I didn't, but I'll go. Um, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that uh, I was impressed with uh, each one of our presenters. Uh, first of all, I knew their staff, knew their business very well. But what, what I always look for is, is again, that resiliency, right? They, they talked about how they worked through the pandemic, right? Whether, whether they uh, intentionally pointed it out or not, it was clear that they were affected by it and their plans on how to move forward and, and, and increase their business in a number of ways, whether it's hiring or moving to a new space. Or, or increasing their sales through, through their marketing programs. Uh, I, I was impressed by that. Thank you, Mr. Peterson. Always a supporter, like very consistent supporter. I think you've probably been at every single graduation that we've ever done. So I appreciate you, sir. Always, m t Bank here in I Maryland. Ought getting, I ought to be getting an honorary degree, right? Hey, look, I'll, you have that in the mail, uh, <laughs> Dr. Carl, sir. Not a problem. Now I'll probably make it a uh, green, green, green theme to go with M&T's logo, all right? And uh, actually, let me ask Mr. Williams with, with Meridian Management Group. Sir, you, I, I jumped in your room for a while. What did you mm -hmm. see? Well, I was just scurried to jump in. Uh, well, yeah. uh, first of all, congratulations to, to, to all the businesses. Uh, the businesses that pr presented to me were, were well prepared, well coached. Uh, the presentations were very good, and, and they clearly had had practiced them because they all stayed within the time frame that was allotted, and uh, uh, so there was no coaching needed from me on that part. Uh, and they were prepared to address, you know, the questions, you know, that that, that was presented to them. So, um, congratulations to to the program for for preparing them so well, and congratulations. 
to them for working so hard uh, to do such a, a great, make such a great presentation. Thank I you know that's not an easy thing to do. No, they put in the work and, you know, I was putting through their paces and Mr. Brown, he's not playing. So uh, yes, it was not easy at all, but they did it. They, they made it happen. And thank you, uh, as always, Meridian Management Group supporting the curriculum, supporting Charles County. I appreciate you, sir. And, uh, and oh, Ms. Henson from the Small Business Administration, do you, uh, if you could share your feedback? Yeah, I'll just keep it short and sweet, but I just wanted to say that I'm extremely impressed with the caliber of each of the presentations that I witnessed and the presenters were so thorough and enthusiastic, not only about their business, but also about this program as a whole. And I'm extremely excited to see what all of the participants future has in store of them. And I just wanna mention that each participant should not underestimate the importance of this presentation that you have created it is a living document that can guide you on the path to a success. So congratulations again on the completion of this program. It's an enormous accomplishment. And I'm really proud of you all for taking this initiative and further developing your business. So congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Henson with the SBA. Ms. Bell, you've been a supporter since the beginning. Like we were doing the very first uh, interviews back months ago, you were there. Do you have anything that you want to add? You were giving great feedback tonight. Any thoughts you want to add? Um, I just wanted to say, um, you know, to the to the group in general, um, you know, big congratulations on um, taking steps to, um, you know, investing in development because that's always, um, you know, such a huge deal that a lot of business owners. Um, don't do because I mean, you're so busy tr just trying to, you know, make ends meet or keep things together that you don't take the time to really um, take a step back and, you know, invest in educating and learning more. So I think that was, you know, that everyone should be commended for that. And then the other thing that I wanted to just mention to everyone is never, never um, feel um, bad about asking for help because a lot of times we can make very tragic mistakes because we simply just don't know. And I think it's it's important that you recognize that there's so many resources that are out here. Um, and now that you know about this program and just keep coming back, just keep coming back and don't ever be afraid to ask for help or to simply say, you know what? I'm not sure, let me just check. Let me get a second ear. Because even, even the Bible tells you that um, you know, there's wisdom in a multitude of counselors. And even though I've been in business for over 20 years, I'm always, I'm always looking and always asking. And um, I'm gonna ask Mr. Holmes for some help, <laughs> you know. But it's it's just a thing of 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 knowing that you are going to be so much better by doing this program and and taking these steps in investing your time, your energy, and your effort in moving forward with with learning about more about what to do with your business. Ms. Bell, thank you so much. Ms. Bell, what's the name of your company again, so we can all hear it? Preeminent Protective Services. All right. And uh, you, you do phenomenal work with the government and other, other, uh, other types of customers, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Very good. And a great, and Tr Charles County Business has been helping us from the beginning. So I want to thank you for being here tonight and continuing your support, giving great feedback. All right. That was that sounded like like some good feedback. I'm, so that makes me happy. All right. So let me ask let me ask the students. Okay. You all can be so look. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to beat you up anymore. So you know you can speak freely now uh, about how you feel about the program. Talk about your experience. We had you know maybe three or four people. After you all give some feedback, then we'll do graduation and we're done because we're right on time. So if you want to say something, put your little hand up in the in the chat so I don't miss you. Okay. Okay. Wait. Let me see. I think I saw. I think I, I saw Ms. Rump off, first. And Wait. Then we got uh, Ms. Ruiz and then Ms. Hall. Okay, Mr. Brown, uh, you, you keep me honest. So I think is okay. Ms. Rump first? Yes. yes. All right, Ms. Rump, go ahead. 
So I just wanted to say the Big Ad program is the best program. I mean, I did not know where my company was going. I didn't know about my numbers. Oh, the Big is just awesome. And I got paid to take it and it's free. And even after we had our, our, our breakout rooms and even with our, our, um, our judges, they even gave us some more information and contact information. So the Big Eye program is truly, truly amazing. I am so glad that I was selected to take this program because it has taught me so much how to run my business. Because I thought I was running my business, but my business is really running me. But I am so thankful and blessed that I, I was chosen to take this program. Thank you, all you guys. Y'all were wonderful. Y'all were amazing. <laughs> I wasn't too hard on you, Ms. Rowe? Nah, I can have you and Mr. Brown. Woof. Y'all stayed on me, but it was all right. I needed that. <laughs> all right, good. Very good. Very good. Well, thank you, Ms. Rum. Uh, is Ms. Ruiz next? Ms. Ruiz is next. Ms. Ruiz, what do you have to say? I also want to say what an amazing class and course this was. Um, when I when they first told me about it, uh, I was at the Economic Development Center and I said, yes, I totally want to take it because I believe in continuing education. And everybody laughed when, because I, I, I was saying I wanted to do it and they're like, and then you get $10,000 when you're done. And I was like, what? And I completely turned into a high pitched thing that I almost blew out the window <laughs> because I wanted to take it before I, I even knew there was any money about it. And I figured I'd learn one or two things and I cannot believe that I've even stayed afloat this long, not knowing what I've learned in this class. Cause uh, I, I keep, every time I get off of there, my dad's my best friend and I, I call him every time. I'm just like, oh my God, dad, listen to what I've not been doing right. And um, it, it just, it, it floors me how much I've learned. Um, and especially since I've been making businesses i've been throwing spaghetti at the wall trying to figure something out that's going to work and this one's been working it finally worked i finally found something that i needed to do and i thought it was working and then i was just like wow it's really not working at all I, there's so many ways for me to to be doing so much more and, and i'm going to be doing so much more now whether um i get more capital or not i know that i'm going up and i'm going to keep going up and i'm going to stick with this and i love it and it's all due to you guys giving me the, the strength to, to go forward. So thank you. I only have to say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Ms. Ruiz, that means a lot. Thank you. Look, we just, we just said a few words. You guys really did all the work. So, you know, definitely take ownership of that. Um, and thank you for, for staying focused. I, I think, I think next we have Ms. Holland and then Ms. Brenner. Is that correct, Mr. Brown? Yes, sir. That's correct. All right, Ms. Holland, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Uh, I can't say enough about this program on how well it has pretty much kept us on track. When I say us, including my family, since it's a family-owned business. If you can recall during our interview process, I was literally overwhelmed with everything from that having staff with, you know, just it, it just our books not in order. It, it, everything was just a hot mess. This course pretty much enlightened me, not only enlightened me, but it also geared me toward the right direction. Um, Mr. Brown always say every week on weekly sessions, you know, when he asks the panelists, what is one word that you can say to instill with the, the, with the cohorts? And I must say empowerment because it truly has given me direction and given me the confidence to stay on top of cash flow, to stay on top of prime costs, to stay on top of me, you know, making sure that I stay on top of what I'm supposed to do. I'm now setting my goals and making sure that I, I, I'm, I work on the business first and making money for this business. Um, the course is phenomenal. I've taken other courses, uh, the weekly sessions with Mr. Holmes, with the, the, the presentation, as well as the panelists, they have all been enlightening, invigorating, and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, Charles County, having this program. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Ms. Holland. And let me ask you this, because you've been in like some major programs, okay? What would you say is different about this one than maybe like some of the other major programs you've been in? 
well, just like I mentioned, um, the panelists and the kind of accountability, because when you're working in the business, you pretty much let things slide. You know, everything is pretty much on the back burner. But um, with this class, with this course, you have to stay in contact with your advisors and they assist you all the way. They have been so accommodating with the questions that you have, with insight that you never even thought of, like, oh my God, it's like a light bulb. So that's what made this so different in the class size also helps as well because you can get lost in the sauce. I mean, with other classes because it's such a huge class, but with this class is small, it's intimate. And like I said earlier, accountability. Every week you have to check in, you have to do your homework and you guys don't let up on that too. So, and I appreciate it. Very good. Very good. I, hey, I'm glad that, I'm glad that the hardcore, our hardcore nature is working because uh, listening to everybody's presentations today, you guys did an amazing job, in, in my humble opinion. All right, we got time for, I think one, Ms. Holland, thank you so much for that. Ms. Brenner, I think you're gonna wrap us up with our last bit of feedback and then we'll go to graduation. Yep, so I'm gonna follow Latanya's um, example and I'm gonna use my one word and that's inspire. Because I like, I haven't been in business I've only been in business eight years, but the things that I learned, I, like, and I know I've said it before, I, I almost wish this class was longer because I feel like there's just so much more information. I mean, you guys crammed a lot of information at eight weeks and it was incredible because we learned, like you educated us beyond belief, but it was great for me to see that there's other companies out there that are in my same shoes, whether it's a negative profit or not enough people or more education or I'm, you cut sometimes you feel like you're the only one <laughs> so it was great to see other companies were in my same shoes and then like you said to see how very first interview it's been amazing Thank you, Ms. Brenner. I appreciate you so much. It has been such an honor to work with all of you. Gotten to know you all so well. And of course, everything stays locked in here. You know, we don't share anything. It's all secret, secret. Uh, but I, it has been an honor. I appreciate y'all being so just open and honest for eight whole weeks. And I can definitely see the, the yes, you guys are just awesome. You were awesome before, but now I think you have a much better understanding of your business. And that makes me really happy. And uh, Mr. Brown and I are really proud. So we're going to, now it's time. We're not going to talk to you guys anymore after this. See, Ms. Uh, uh, Freeman Buster put her hand up. She has something. She actually, actually it's her turn. She, it's her turn before we uh, do our step right, in, step right in. <laughs> so, uh, it's perfect time. Go ahead, Ms. Freeman Buster. No, just real quick. Us Kelly had to leave um, and she wanted to um, say congratulations again to all of the business owners and the graduates. And um, just a few words. I would like to to say and uh, just hearing all of the positive feedback um, really make my job rewarding and because small business is part of me. I've been working with small business for over 25 years. I was um, commercial banking for 25 years and and just had the passion for helping businesses access the capital that it needed for growth and, you know, and going through all of that. It had been very, very rewarding. And, um, you know, for these businesses as well. And, um, just a few things I would like to add to this is that um, congratulations again for um, completing the program and um, just a few things for you to remember when you go out there to implement what you have learned from BGAP because this program was really, this training program was really, really, really thought out because I sat down and during COVID we went out I had my business development team go out and do a lot of outreach and, you know, came back with feedback and I 
sat down and said, what can we put together to help our businesses? And that's how BCAP came about. Sat down, put together a plan or program and then reach out. And um, fortunately for me, I was able to um, get in contact with uh, Will and his team and Mr. Brown. And uh, they reviewed the curriculum that I have put together and what I wanted to present to um, our businesses in, in the county. And uh, Mr. Holmes and his team had it together. And this is BGAP. And as I said, just hearing all the positive feedback really, really, um, you know, make my job very easy for me. So just a few things to remember that, um, you know, as you go out there to implement the uh, strategies and things that you have learned from this program, you want to always put your customer first. You want to start with your customer. It's very, very important. The second thing I want you to know is that um, revenue cannot be delegated. You have to pay attention to your revenue, to your bottom line, because that, that's the lifeline of your business. So you want to understand all of your sources of revenue and um, you know, pay attention to that. And third, you want to build your business like you will own it forever. You know, you you create that value to sell it tomorrow, which is very important. So talk about succession planning and all of those things will really help your business build that value for um, what I call the exit strategy to get your business moving forward. And lastly, what you want to do is do your math. I know you have um, bookkeeper, accountant, and all of those people, but you need to know your numbers and understand that. And that will take your business a long way if you understand that. Be able to explain why certain things are happening, why sales declining, or why my, my margin is, is, you know, fell compared to last year. What can I do to improve, you know, my margin? Should I reduce my overhead, my fixed costs, or my variable costs? Those are all things you want to pay attention to. So do your math. And congratulations again. And uh, look forward to working with all of you. Give me a call, email, text. I'm available. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Freeman Buster. All right, here's the moment you've been waiting for. Get ready. Hope you got your, hope you got your speakers on, because here it comes. Um, uh, by the power invested in me by Charles County, I will Holmes, along with uh, the entire team, Mr. Renard Brown, Mr. Lucretia Freeman Buster, Ms. Margaret Directi, and uh, the entire squad at the Economic Development in Charles County. I hereby declare that you have graduated. Congratulations. That's it. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. We will have a, an in-person graduation uh, next Thursday. So. I definitely want to see you all there. I can't wait. And once again, it's been an honor getting to know you. And I can't wait to see all that you do to uh, really have an impact on your businesses and on the Charles County economy. Thank you so much and have a good night.